Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. It's, a, it's something that a lot of people are missing in their lives uh, and in their relationships, uh, especially their marriages, and they're not happening very well as a result. And people are really unhappy in the world. There's no feeling of warmth. And I know what that feels like, folks, being in situations and relationships where there's no warmth where warmth has no place where it should be. So, I'm just gonna try it on that size to start with. Okay, let's see what this is. It is an affirmation about love. Love is the missing ingredient in most relationships and in most people's lives. It's taken me decades myself to find it. Not this, but love itself. And it's in the most unexpected place that you find it. And it's a place where most people don't like. Uh, they don't associate it with love, um, but it's there. I can't talk about it, folks. It's something I I just have to give you an idea um, that maybe you should start looking for where love is, where you where you can find love. So you know, I just you know, I can't find it for you, folks. Um, if, I mean, I could say what love is, but I know you're not going to prove so you're not going to like the place where it's going to be found but it will it will come to life or come to light at a later date but it is indeed the missing ingredient in, in people hate their jobs and people hate their relationships they hate themselves. So hatred has become a pandemic in itself. Probably even more pandemic than the COVID-19 virus or the coronavirus. And it's a sad world we live in that we haven't got love in our lives. Uh, that looks really quite nice. I do think maybe on the horizontal we could move it across. Um, but basically it's horrible the way the world has become. And the world has become so bad and mean and horrible and selfish and the love of money there is a love that is popular and it's the love of money the love of money has become the most popular form of love and it's hatred but no people just love money and that's a real destructive force that I've seen so much of and it hurts everyone and yet people still go after the dirty dollar and it becomes the only reason why we work why we go to work is to pick up some money to get a pay packet and that's why things don't work because hatred has infiltrated in the form of the love of money it's infiltrated into everything and we have no way of stopping it um, and it's really a, a tough world we live in now because of it anyway that looks a lot better we've gotten rid of most of that edge there um, that's our finished result I do think or maybe I'm just wondering if we're going to do it anymore just going to see 
I'm going to return it to 100 and we're going to turn this into a movement piece. So we're just going to get rid of this. But, you know, it's got to go beyond just a piece of clay or a piece of wood. Uh, it's got to go way beyond that. But most people have found hatred, and yes, it's terrible, and we have to stamp, somehow stamp it out, but I know it's not going to get stamped out when we've got people loving money and big corporations who don't care about their product, like this photocopier. The man who built this, he's responsible for overseeing this photocopier, the CEO known as Shoa Yamana. He's an example of hatred. He doesn't like photocopiers, I can tell because it's all plastic, it's all shit, doesn't last. I had to replace my old photocopier with this one because the other one would last only if it was out of service, uh, so I couldn't keep, keep it. Uh, that's really quite nice. But basically, yeah, I couldn't use the old photocopier because it was out of commission. I couldn't get it fixed under a service agreement because the service agreement was no longer valid because the lack of spare parts available for the equipment. So I basically had to, because of the hatred of the company that built this photocopier, Konica Minolta, here it is on the badge, the word Konica Minolta, don't forget it. But basically they don't care about their product. Um, and it shows in there, in the way they do things. And it really, you can tell it's hatred, put it together. It was hatred, not love, not care, not the love of the customer or let alone the love of the environment. It was all hatred. Hatred did it. Just to make dollars, a nonsense. You don't find love in, in money. You don't find love at all from that. Um, those flowers look nice and red in this picture. I don't know how this is going to look. Well, I'm hoping one day I'll redesign the photocopier from the ground up. Uh, using my passion for photocopiers, of course, and wanting to make a difference in the human race, to make the people who, who use the product enjoy the product, not just use it, but actually enjoy it, instead of hating it or dreading it and feeling scared, feeling techno fear. Uh, we have to make a difference, folks. We have to try and do things differently, do things we're passionate about, versus what's just for money. So we've got to try and find what we're passionate about and what we're good at. And then we try to integrate that into our lives and hopefully into the work, into our jobs, if we can, if possible. It's not as easy as it looks though, because the rich people control everything and they are not willing to allow people like myself who want to make a difference, so I'll never become, under the normal regime, I'll never become CEO of a photocopier company through trying to climb up the corporate ladder. I'll be blocked. So there has to be another way in the front door and up the ladder and up to the top, but it's not at this stage in history that we can do that. Even my partner Luigi can't do it. So, you know, anyway, that looks really quite, that looks better than I thought. I think now we can call this demo quits.